I had the privilege of serving Mitchell's plan as a constituency member of parliament for the ANC. And when we looked at needs, we thought that the most important need is a support in education. And so in April of 2010, we convened a big education summit at Glendale High. Uh, and, and there were about 800 people who told us about the things that we need to do. Uh, we formed the Education Forum, and one of the subsets of the Education Forum uh, is a Bursary and Role Model Trust. And the Bursary Trust has to support students who should go on to tertiary education, but who have difficulty because of finance. And the Role Model Trust has to support or, or draw students who, who've received bursaries or people who've made it out of Mitchell's Plain to A, plow back knowledge and B, plow back finances in the fullness of time. The only difficulty that the Trust faces now is that we can't raise enough money for all of the support. But one of the things that, that the Bursary Trust can do is to work with other organizations that uh, do provide bursaries and if the Bursary Trust can then do initial screening, uh, we, can, we can bring those people in as role models even though the money comes via a different pot, a different organization uh, that has bursary money as well so that we can continue to reach out to young people and show that by providing support for tertiary education, we can provide hope and you know pedagogy of hope is a very interesting thing it's a basic it's a basic issue you must be able to demonstrate that the future is better than the past it does mean a commitment to hard work it does mean a partnership part of the partnership that the bursary trust brings is financial support and we will in the fullness of time provide social support for young people as they they tread that difficult path of tertiary education. Their part of the bargain is to work hard and ensure that they become good role models for the community because through hope we will build pride and through pride we will build community and uh, uh, that's the investment that we must make. With mentoring and the right guidance and the support, you will see results and it will only result in a positive contribution. And that is what I aim to help as well here with Mitchell's Plain. I believe that Mitchell's Plain um, Bursary Trust is very helpful to our, our young people um, because many of them are struggling to access funds to assist them with studying further. And um, we have seen how many young people that have accessed, um, that were recipients of, of the trust, um, are pursuing their studies and are doing well out there academically. The Mitchell's Plains Bursary and Role Models Trust has to date supported 60 students in bursaries and with other financial support. How this program can change the lives of other students as well, providing them and making them aware of the opportunities that are out there, showing them and proving to them, as for myself, that there's no limits to where they can go. When I first received the call from the Mutual Plan and Role Model Fund, I was excited because finally I had prayed for this and I finally received help. This bursary fund inspired me to study harder, to know that there will be help no matter what. It inspired me to go further and reach for the goal despite not being able to pay for the things myself. I was very really excited and happy when I received the bursary and I'm very thankful for this opportunity. I feel so privileged among others and I will not disappoint and I will, or I will try and give back. When I'm successful, I'll try and give back in whichever way that I can. The learners of today is our future, they are leaders of tomorrow and we need to invest in them. So empowering them by assisting them to obtain tertiary education is but one small way in which we contribute towards that creation of our new generation of leaders. And if one, you know, considers the, the 2014 matric results, one can see we are busy with that change around. And, and I believe it is because amongst the youth they feel that there is hope out there, there's light at the end of the tunnel, there is support for them. And um, in this way, you know, we've uh, identified a role model since 2012 and those role models are doing exceptionally well at tertiary institutions and they come back to the schools where they inspire uh, other learners. Since the inception of the Mitchell's Plain Bursary Fund or the Role Model Trust, 
Um, there's been a buzz and an excitement and also a greater hope created for our children from Mitchell's Plain to want to go to university. And over the past uh, three years, um, we had 15 recipients from our school. So we are greatly indebted to the, this initiative, all the students in the community and the people of Mitchell's Plain. Um, uh, and, you know, we thank the Almighty for the presence of, of this trust, all the trustees, and especially Minister Manuel and uh, Cameron Dugmore for um, staying true to their word. Our school um, achieved uh, a 100% pass rate uh, last year, and we can attribute the uh, success um, uh, partly to the involvement of the Role Model Bursary Trust, because our children uh, realize that um, uh, their dreams can be realized. Through the trust, we aim to empower students, to help them, to nurture them, so that they may succeed and contribute to society in a meaningful way. And to receive a bursary brings hope to the individual and to his family and to the rest of the community. I wish this bursary trust can change the lives of many others as it has changed my life. I hope I can come back in the future and offer the same help as the bursary fund has offered me. Yeah, I won't disappoint. I will always get back to everyone and see where I can help out in the near future. The children of Mitchell's Plain are immensely talented and gifted and they are deserving of each and every opportunity that can be presented to them so that they can realize their full potential. I would want to see that, you know, all those role models are going to come back, plow back and develop that sense of hope within our community. I come in here uh, as one who is immensely privileged to continue to work with this great community that does things that make us incredibly proud every single day.